Hello guys, this is first part of modeling section of my new tutorial series about making low poly tree and uh, I will split modeling section into two parts first one will be modeling the bark and the second will be modeling the leaves first of all we have to set up few things if you want to have the, the exactly same setup as me I assume that you know the basics so we can start from the add-ons that I use so if you go to edit click preferences this window should pop on your screen wait wait, wait a second okay it it is here and uh, click to add-ons on the left and search for pie menu en enable this so basically this is an add-on that will help us to navigate easier and also I use one more add-on that is called loop tools and uh, you can enable it too this tool will help us model the tree faster and I'll show you later how, how I use it so after you have done this click save preferences and close this window okay so uh, now I will show the basics of this pie menu add-on so if, if you know it you can skip this part okay so uh, if you want to change views you will just click Q and this pie menu will pop on your screen and now you can choose uh, the per yeah the site which you want to go so if you want to go to left just go click on the left and this will make you go to the left if you want to go to the front click Q it will go to the front if you press Z you will have uh, different types of shading the cube will you mostly use wireframe and solid so wireframe looks like this so you can see through the mesh and solid is uh, the default one and uh, the last key we will use is tap so if you press tap uh, you will have different mode modes of the cube so if you want to go to edit mode just click to the right and you will be in the edit mode so this is the basics of Pi menu and now we can move move on to the actual modeling. So first thing we have to do is press X to delete this cube. Okay, before uh, modeling, uh, make sure to have a reference on your screen. So I, I have on my second monitor this reference of low poly tree. So you can copy from different artists or take inspiration. Okay, so we want to add first a circle. So click Shift A, go to Mesh and add a circle. Now you can see that it's too round and we want to make it low poly. So here on the left bottom corner, you click this and this will pop up pop, and change the number of vertices to 8 so we will have more sharp edges okay so this will be the base of our bark after you've done this go to edit mode and I change to front view click A to select everything and then click E to extrude it. Okay, so I, I want to extrude it along Z axis, so I press Z to constrain it to Z axis. I press also the control, so th this basically will snap to the grid behind us that you can see. So I want the bark to be around this height. Now I, I want to scale it down the, the top so the top will be pointy, so I press S, scale it down. Now you add uh, loop cuts to make it more curvy. 
So click Ctrl R to add a loop cut. You will have this yellow line pop on your screen. So basically it means that it will add one loop cut. I want to add three. So I scroll the mouse wheel up. So I get three loop cuts. I click left click to confirm. Right click to cancel the, the moving because I can move it up and down now, but I, I want to cancel. So press right click to cancel. Okay. And now I select the middle one, middle loop cut, shift, alt, left click to select whole loop cut. I enable proportional editing. So if I move this loop cut, uh, other loop cuts will move too. So here, uh, after you press G, you will have the circle. And basically the circles defines what uh, vertices the pro pro proportional editing will affect. So I scroll it down to make it bigger. So if I move left now, you can see that uh, we moved other loop cuts too. Okay. If you want to turn it off, you can press either O or go here and click disable. I think I want to make it look like C letter. So I will move this, select this, move it more to the left and also this loop cut move to the left. I want the base to be bigger. So I select the base. Click S to scale it, adding loop cut here and move it down. So I think uh, this is the basic shape of our bark. Uh, you, you won't see the, the top part of the bark because it will be covered by leaves. So you don't have to model any details on top. Okay. So this is front view. I, I want to go to the right view so I can bend it in right view also. So just shape it till you like it. Okay, I think uh, this will be the basic shape of our bark. And uh, yeah, we can move to the second now. So, bye.